Alright, hey guys, this is CVAG Zero doing another RD2L group stage cast. And today, uh, we have Need for Feed versus Blink and Slam on Chris Crystal Maiden. Uh, both teams are from Europe. I think it's currently 9 p.m. over there. And uh, I guess I should go ahead and dive right into the draft. It is week 4, um, so things are starting to get a bit intense. Uh, I know some teams haven't played their week 3 matches yet. I know I my team hasn't. Um, but we will be this Sunday. Uh, regardless, uh, to the draft. Uh, so we have the Weaver and Bane pickup for Blink and Slam and Crystal Maiden. Uh, all pretty good. Uh, I think all worth it. The Bane is definitely something that is to counter for the need for feed. Uh, the Life Stealer, of course, is worth that first round, or first round pick. Uh, though lately it has kind of seen like a, a downfall, sort of in play. It would be interesting to see if Need for Feed will combo it up with the Storm Spirit. Maybe they could combo it with the uh, the Puck as well, as we saw in the international. Uh, Navi and a couple other teams uh, used the Puck and Lifestealer combo very well, and, and it was very effective. Team wiped, uh, got a lot of pickoffs, uh, crucial pickoffs, and it, and it won them a lot of games. Uh, Nyx Assassin is the follow up for Need for Feed. Nyx Assassin, yeah, I also think it's uh, worth the first round pick. Uh, with this Spike Carapace, it's, he's very survival. It's, it's really hard to kill this guy. Uh, Vendetta can scout, and Vendetta ganks especially can set up a lot of kills. And Need for Feed, they could start snowballing very soon. Of course, Blink and Slam and Crystal Maiden with the Weaver pickup, they can also snowball to a certain extent. Uh, Weaver dive towers, and, you know, can, can get plenty of kills. But the Treant and OD are, are, are banned out. Uh, the Treant, Treant banned out by the Blink and Slam and Crystal Maiden. I guess that might be a sign that they want to go uh, pretty aggressive early on. Uh, because, you know, Treant's early game is just too strong. I mean, not only is, is the Living Armor a pain in the ass to deal with when you're trying to dive towers and, and dive on the enemy heroes in order to get kills, but... Also, the base damage for Treant is quite ridiculous. I think I think it's like in the 80s, uh, low 80s, the 80, 81, with no items. That's like no items, and he can go and bash you for 80 damage. And that's that's just I, a lot of people don't take advantage of that. Uh, but I guess it's hard to I guess in a try versus try situation. Regardless, Treant we see is a ban out. Um, Alchemist actually gets a, a ban here for Need for Feed. I'm I'm quite surprised he made it. Uh, well. Personally, I, I think I would prefer the Alchemist over the Lifestealer, although um, I, I guess we'll see if Need for Feed can combo uh, very well. Uh, I, I do like the Alchemist ban and that Blink and Slam Crystal Maiden do need that a uh, that carry. Oh, Need for Feed actually go with the Gyrocopter here. So, okay, here's a couple options. Uh, a, Gyrocopter could be in this tri-lane, but is a support. Uh, B, uh, Lifestealer could go off in the off lane. And, and, you know, do like a YYF thing where he solos. And, yeah, he's a decent solower, but, it, of course, it really depends. Uh, need for feed, this might be a sign that they want to run it aggressive so Lifestealer could have that safe lane solo. Uh, but we will see. Um, of course, like I said, it, it's still very viable that they run this in a, this this is their tri lane. Uh, so we'll see if Blink and Slam and Crystal Maiden uh, know more than I do and if they can somehow counter this. So for the Bane, uh, yeah, the Alchemist pickup uh, Bane ban was really good because uh, we saw a lot that the Nightmare into a Unstable Concoction was a very powerful tool. Though I would be surprised if they combo it with something else, maybe like a Jakiro. That doesn't have a lot of killing power, but it is quite defensive. Um, I do think they should take advantage of this Nightmare uh, combo. They could go with the Leshrac, they could go with the Lina. All very good. Uh, now this kind of puts Blink and Slam on Crystal Maiden in, in, in a bit of a pickle. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, they go with the Marana pick. I should have, I should have called this. I, uh, I am kind of behind at least in casting meta. I do know, I do know that Marana has definitely seen a lot more play. Uh, so, uh, sorry for the ignorance. It, yeah, Marana is a very good combo with this, uh, Nightmare. Nightmare into an arrow. They could just go roam. I mean, honestly, they can go 1-1-1 one, one, one with two roam. Two roaming and that and that's a pretty deadly uh, combo, especially once they get the level two. You get the starfall, you got the nightmare, you get the brain zap, um, and, and you get this. Uh, so with the Marana, I mean, uh, if they don't roam, they could run a, a, a tri lane. It's also possible they could run a two one two. I I don't agree. If they do that, that's just probably not the best idea. Uh, Need for feed. They actually pick up the Lena here.
Alina provides a lot of burst damage, in a sense, because of all that burst and, and quick damage output, they could easily take out the Weaver before he can time lapse. Um, we'll see if that actually pays off. They go with the Visage. Uh, that is Blink and Slam and Crystal Maiden go with the Visage. And Visage, I'm surprised he made it this far. Um, I probably should have pointed it out earlier, but and Visage would have probably been even better for Need for Feed. Uh, but Visage is a hard hero to play. Uh, you got to be able to micro quite well with the summon familiars. Maybe Need for Feed just the, the support player is not confident with it, or they really wanted to concentrate on killing the Weaver. Either way, all the, uh, I think both sides uh, pick pretty good supports. Um, so Blink and Slam and Crystal Maiden. What do they need? They need that uh, mid. I mean, it's possible Verona and Bang could maybe do a mid, but both sides, I think, bo they both need mids. Uh, they banned the typical Puck and Queen of Pain. Puck, I I'm surprised Need for Feed banned him. I, I think Puck would have been excellent for this Need for Feed side. Um, it, uh, well, I mean, okay, so what's available in a pool? I mean, TA is out, Quap is out, Puck is out. A uh, Dragonite's in the pool. I don't know if Need for Feed should go for Dragonite. I would love to see a Storm Spirit. I, they don't really have too many lockdown for the Storm Spirit. They have the uh, Bane ulti, but who do you ulti as Bane? Uh, you still have the Life Stealer to worry about. Uh, Weaver doesn't have any lockdown. Uh, Marana has to hit the arrow, but that's so hard to do against a Storm Spirit. Of course, if you get the Nightmare off, uh, it'd be a bit easier. But, you know, team fights get chaotic. You can't do too much. Uh, it's also a possibility Bane gets blown up before he can even try to get a Nightmare off into an arrow combo. And, and you know what? Even, like, Nyx Assassin could, like, tank an arrow for, for this Marana. Uh, but Need for Feed, they, they're really looking like they're going for that team fight uh, kind of lineup. So I would like to see. I mean, if they do pick up the Storm Spirit, yes, they kind of lack a bit on team fight. But the initiation from the Life Seller is just so strong. And they can easily kill any of these heroes. Uh, I think Storm Spirit, once he picks up an Orchid or even even a Hex, this, is, this Weaver will die so quickly. I just don't know. What Weaver can do, I mean, even if she has Lincolns, um, it, I mean, that blocks one thing, I guess. Uh, I, I think BKB might be needed. I think I think Weaver will have to go BKB uh, for for this uh, for this little bug. So for the fifth pickup, they're definitely taking their time, and I, I would be too. Um, I'm sure they're considering the Storm Spirit, at least just for the Life Stealer. Um, what other mids are there? Windrunner is available in a pool. That's kind of a, a, a... Oh, okay. Okay, so this really throws a lot of things out. Uh, it makes her lanes quite versatile. Now, I mean, it may seem like the Gyrocopter might go mid. Um, Gyrocopter won't be terrible mid, especially if he gets levels in Homing Missile and he can zone people out that way. And I think... Uh, so they could run the tri lane. It could be aggressive with the life starter Nyx and Lina, uh, and then they get the gyro mid with the bounty hunter offlane. Bounty hunter, of course, can go mid as well, but I mean that leaves their offlane quite quite weak. Uh, so this definitely leaves a bit of surprise. Uh, maybe maybe need for feed. Kind of trying to throw some new things out there. So Blink and Slam and Crystal Maiden, uh, they're probably aware if they can pick a very strong mid laner. Uh, it, it would be nice for them. It would be easy to control. Of course, against a gyrocopter homing missile, it, it's a little bit harder. We'll see. Like I said, Windrunner is still in a pool. Uh, who else can go mid? I mean, Invoker. Invoker is up. Is there too? And yeah, Invoker would add a lot of burst for them. Uh, the only thing is, you know, there's a life stealer, and Bounty Hunter could easily kill him. And this is this is a ganking lineup that's very strong in against an Invoker. Um, they go with the Magnus, yeah, I completely forgot about the guy, and apparently some of the metagame has, uh, and, and uh, to a certain extent, as well. Though he has seen a bit of play, uh, he has dropped off a lot. So yeah, we do have that little bit of lag, right, as we wait for all the heroes to load up. And I, I gotta apologize for that. <clears throat> So with the Magnus pickup, uh, this adds a, a little, a much needed team fight. The thing is, it'll probably get scrappy. Uh, I think with the RP, if you concentrate on like just the gyro or even the life stealer, it'd be very good for them. So uh, we'll see uh, how, how this is going to lane. Probably going to be aggressive with this uh, tri lane here, the Weaver soloing, uh, possibly against a Bounty Hunter. Magnus will be mid. 
Um, but I'll go ahead and introduce the players. The captain is uh, Tech TF. He's playing the Magnus. On the Marana, it's Bronco. On the Bane, it's the stand in. Uh, Hamd uh, Ben Beaston? Yeah, Beaston. Ham Beaston. And uh, Visage is, play is being played by Herbal T. And finally, on the soft lane Weaver, it's going to be Baggy. Or Baggy. On the other side, it's uh, TYKZ. He's the captain. He's playing his life star. Yes, they're going to be rather aggressive as well. And Nick Sasson is going to be Nyx. Uh, now Lording is on this uh, Gyrocrypt. Okay, so now they're just leaving things up there. They want to go for that quick level 1 kill. But if it's against a Weaver, do they have the killing power? I I, I don't think so. I mean, I don't... They have... They have not enough bursting damage, and they can't lock her down uh, quite enough. Oh, there's that ward to try to block the camp. Is it a little bit too far? I can't tell. Uh, Delina? It's being played by Slacker on the Gyrocopter. It's a, oh yeah, I already introduced them. It's now Lording. And uh, Bounty Hunter. It's being played by the stand-in, Da Vinci. Or Da Vinci. So both sides, they're pl probably planning to run the aggressive. Um, but they're going to end up avoiding each other. Uh, in, a, in a case like this, I think... Hmm. Who do I favor? I think I would favor the Weaver just a little bit. Uh, his Sakuchi is a little bit easy, uh, better to escaping. Of course, it is a bit more mana intensive. Okay, uh, it's a DD rune. They're going to look to go roam, but I think they know. They're going to switch up the lanes, and they're going to try to match up on both sides. <laughs> they're doing a lot of rotation. They're missing out on a, a bit on EXP. Uh, still... Like, once again, they kind of avoid each other. It's the Bounty Hunter versus the Tri-Lane. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, do they have wards? Yeah, they do have sentries, so this could be an, uh, a first blood down. But, uh, of course, uh, top lane, they they do have a lot of killing power, though. Weaver, I think, should not die they, I, until, like, possibly level 2. Level 2 for these two supports will be crucial. Uh, they do try to get some wards uh, to block the camp. We'll see. Yes, this this does block it, but it's just right outside the range. Um, so that is quite unfortunate for this uh, Lena. On the other side, uh, do they get their block off correctly? Are they going to be able to get it? Oh, they do find one, uh, but this is the ward that's blocking it. They're going to they're gonna feel like they succeeded, but it's going to be a bit unfortunate for them. Uh, so well done for the dire side. They probably knew it was going to be rewarded. I mean, warded up. So Bounty out there, oh, he's doing some shenanigans where he's just hiding in the trees. Uh, I don't think they can see him unless they, like, walk right here. But they don't. Uh, regardless, Murano will get a bit of free farm. The thing about this, um, we did see Funic play Murano, and he kind of went to the Ancient Camp, which is actually quite hilarious, though it worked out perfectly for them. Uh, they basically won all their games, uh, in which Dendi played Pudge, and uh, Funic ran the Murano. So it looks like these two supports are trying to go gank. They they aren't able to find this ward. Um, so these two supports are they're going to be uh, level starved. Uh, they need their level six so badly. Okay, so, so now that I think they figured out. We're going to try to place a ward probably around here uh, to deward it. Uh, yeah, they did find it, but I think they blocked their own camp. I think they blocked their own camp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest, uh, well, at least they got the D ward off. Meanwhile, the other two supports are also struggling a bit. Uh, they can't find this ward no matter what. Uh, both sides, both sides. Uh, I think. I think when it comes to levels, though, the two supports on the bottom, uh, these ba this bane and visage will be suffering the most. A uh, mid lane. Oh, I need to pull up last hits. Uh, last hits. Where? Oh, here you go. This is a gyrocopter versus the Magnus, and wow, this Magnus is just getting outlaned severely. I, I guess he's doing the flat cannon harass. Oh, now he finally gets a level in the homing missile at, five, at level four, so he's looking to harass him. Uh, Magnus is a bit scared because uh, if he if he tanks it right here, gyrocopter just goes in, rocket barrage, and that could be first blood. A bounty hunter at least is soaking up a lot of XP. He's level three. Wow, Weaver on is also doing very well. Uh, Weaver even. Brings his uh, Naix quite low. He, he, he thought about diving it. But, you know, Lena's always there to be a bit protective. Oh, they actually found this ward this time. Uh, but they burn a lot of... Wow, that's that's three sentries that were used. So they actually had four sentries. Um, one was put in here. So we should not forget that. 
So finally, uh, they will be able to get their jungle back. Um, oh, life stealer, life stealer, what you doing, bro? You need to be careful. If Weaver knew, I would just. Oh, Weaver's also quite low. Um, life stealer has no more regen. Oh, they think he thinks he's safe. He needs to be careful, Weaver. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Will he go? Oh, he's gonna go. He's gonna make it go. I think he's gonna cancel the salve at least. Oh, he might. He could dive this. No, he won't. There's the impel. There's gonna be a stun, but it, it misses. Uh, the slow comes out, but it's a bit too late. Uh, Weaver Sukuchi's away. Oh, will the Sukuchi? Yes, it'll last for him. He will be fine. Oh, Bounty Hunter finally going invis. He's going to look around. Actually, he decides to go for a level on Shuriken Toss. Uh, this is a very interesting build. I don't approve of it too much. Uh, but the thing about this, he can at least go invis quite a bit. Oh, Bang gets that sleep off. If Bang gets that sleep off, Bang probably walked back. shouldn't have walked back there. He, I think he had a shot. Uh, they both have equal movement speed, so maybe not. So Visage, meanwhile, uh, well... They're, they're stacking this game. I love this idea. If you can't find a ward, just stack, I guess. And yet, well, they did find it, but they, <laughs> they blocked it by themselves. Um, so they're, they're going to continue stacking. Unfortunately, the, the cap is too big, so they're unable to stack this. Instead, they sh probably should have stacked this one. On the other side, they haven't been stacking their camps. Oh, okay, they stacked this one. Uh, but they wasted a lot of time. They could have at least uh, stacked this camp and have the uh, gyrocopter come in and clean it up. Remember, it's a gyrocopter. He can he can really flat cannon through creep waves. Oh, they did find the bounty hunter. Is this going to be a kill? Where's the sleep? <coughs> oh, they looks like he used the sleep earlier. Did Marana shoot an arrow? Yeah, it looks like she did. Uh, maybe it missed and hit, hit a creep. So bounty hunter... Um, doing quite well for himself. He's level four. Um, he will be looking to kind of hide in the jungle again. He's hoping he can find his way through back here, but these sentry wards are preventing him to go back into the lane. So instead, he's going to go look to harass this uh, Bane. Meanwhile, Gyro really dominating. He wants to go for the kill. He might get the kill on a Magnus. Magnus unable to skewer out. That's first blood, guys. I, I wasn't expecting this. Um, I knew Gyrocopter was probably going to outlane the Magnus a bit. But this is this is pretty severe. Uh, the Magnus only 12 and 3. Um, just having a really hard time. On the bright side, Magnus is level 6. He could look to go gank. Only thing is he, he just won't be able to have a good initiation. And where do you gank? I guess you could go bot. Gonna sleep off going with the skewer backwards. Probably into an arrow, Marana. Thinking about it, if she lands the arrow, this might be a very dead bounty hunter. So meanwhile, Weaver doing really well as well. Uh, 9 and 3 at least. Um, well, 9 less hits compared to the 1 on the Bounty Hunter. Uh, uh, Weaver is also a higher level. So Bounty Hunter is just walking through wards, trying to soak up some levels. And now the pulls really start to go through, and let's see if these supports can recover. Bane is level 3. Uh, this is also almost level 3. Bounty Hunter is here. He wants to steal something. Uh, he might be able to. Yes, he steals at least one creep. Um, he's a bit lucky there. If they had the mana, they probably could have slapped them and killed them. I guess he just walked right past them. So Weaver, being just a pain in the butt. Oh, 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 Weaver, Weaver, where's this follow-up? Oh, there's this, oh, the stun misses. Um, bit of miscoordination. Uh, Weaver will get away just fine. She has plenty of mana. So, because of disruption, uh, it will make it hard for these two supports to get, wow. Lena's actually level 4. And that might be because she, she sapped a lot of EXP right here when she was trying to zone out the Weaver. Uh, her level 6 will be uh, big because that burst damage would really kill the Weaver at any moment. Once she gets that level 6, I don't I, I think Weaver will, might have to leave the lane. So looking at the last hits, uh, Gyrocopter leading all. Uh, the early game, who did it favor? Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. It's pretty even, at least. Uh, gold wide, it goes to the um, Dire. Uh, but that most that's probably because of the first blood. Yeah, The Magnus just have a really hard... I'm not sure why he's really staying here. I guess he could try to go top and get a gank off. Get one of the supports to rotate in, like, a, like the Visage could rotate. Both sides... <laughs> Really not choosing a gank. I think in a super late game, it should favor um, Need for Feed. Because, uh, I mean, why not? I mean, you have the Life Sailor and you have the Gyro. But anything can happen because there's a Magnus. A Magnus empowering a Weaver. Well, that's pretty deadly. So Bounty Hunter just soaking up EXP. He could 
Uh, he could potentially just hit the creep and pull him back here, and the tower would not have to take so much damage. Both sides kind of pushing a bit. Weaver, uh, the offlane really benefiting a lot from this. Uh, both sides could look to go roam with these supports, and I think they have to. I mean, with the bounty hunter, you you're like obligated to go roam with this track old once he gets it online. And uh, for the radiant, you have Marana. Uh, you should really go roam with this with her as well. She is kind of a glass cannon, so we should not forget that. Well, trying to get that sleep off, uh, but they decided not to because their creep wave had already died. So Gyro, I mean, he's content to farm. He's going to go for the quick BKB. I like, I like this. Um, though, yes, yes, you do have the Magnus. Yes, you do have the um, Bane to really go through BKB. But it, it stops a lot of the damage, like the Sukuchi and the and the burst and slow from the Visage. And of course, you can't forget Marana's arrow and uh, into Starfall. That's a deadly combo. So both tri lanes not not really doing a good job zoning out the off lane or uh but but it, it's hard to when, once your camp is blocked and you're unable to find it. Uh, still, I think when it comes to uh, taking advantage of the terrible situation that they were in, the radiant were a bit better because they were able to stack this. The dire were not stacking any camps and you know they just kind of sat there and sapped the XP from my carry. But compared to carries, life stealer is at 44 and 11. Uh, so that's very nice for him. And uh, Weaver, I guess you can call him a carry. He's 18 and 7, not too bad. Marana, on the other hand, is 45 and 21, so they're doing really well. The only problem is this Magnus is just really struggling against the Gyro, and the Gyrocopter doing really well for himself. Almost got the BKP. It's 10 minutes, it's 11 minutes, guys. This is a, this is a solo mid gyrocopter that's that's a scary thing that's a scary thought for sure uh, so I really think uh, blinking slam and crystal maiden they need to probably start looking for kills um, because you know if this like, like I said if it goes super late and this gyro gets even fatter how do you stop him uh, you could try to lock him down uh, but we will see how this pl uh, plays out uh, both sides. I I like. I actually like both lineups. Though I, I wish I could see a little bit more. They're they're kind of just going to that passive. We're going to farm game. Oh, Nyx does actually get the kill on a Weaver. Uh, Lena. Oh, Lena actually went down first, and then the Weaver follow up. I'm sorry, I missed that kill. Oh, I'm actually a bit sick, so I have to apologize for any of the sniffles and uh, the the miss the missed kills. So they do get the first tower of the game, this Radiant size, so it will help these supports quite a bit. Uh, regardless, they're still a bit underleveled. Uh, compared to the uh, Dire side, uh, they're about even. Still, that kill by the Weaver was a really big kill. Uh, was it worth it to trade the offlane for the support? Um, maybe, considering it was a 1v3 situation, it's probably not too bad. So Weaver probably looking to get a ring of a kill up. Uh, and now, you know, the two supports have kind of left the game. Uh, Nyx Assassin probably looking... Oh, it actually goes Urn. Decides not to go for any levels. In boot, uh, or decides not to go for boots. So Lena just getting a bit of solo farm. We'll get her level up. Gyrocopter's here. Um, but they won't be able to get the kill here. Yeah, I don't... Oh, don't... Is he actually going to dive? This is a call down. So actually, Bounty Hunter is in the background trying to get the kill. He will get the kill, but Bounty Hunter trades his life away. Regardless, it's a track kill. Um, well, it's it's just a one-man track kill. And it's level one, so it's not a big deal. I think I think losing to Bounty Hunter is actually a loss. So Gyrocopter already started the rotation. Uh, he's actually got something coming. Is it the full BKB? No, it's just the Mithril Hammer. Still, don't take anything away from them. Uh, they have excellent farm. Visage is back in lane. Really wants his level 6 familiars. Bane as well wants his level 6 for uh, his Fiend's Grip. And if he had Fiend's Grip there, that was a very dead gyro. Middle tower is under attack. So Bounty Hunter, uh, I mean, yeah, they, they should go roam. Uh, I mean, Lina is there with them. Nyx Assassin, I think, is just trying to get his level 6 before uh, he goes anywhere. 
Uh, it's a possibility you could also uh, pull this lane. I, I think it's a bit late. Uh, they still they can go back and, and go for it. Uh, Weaver is still there. Oh, is there going to be a stun? No, they actually missed the stun. Unable to target. At least I think Sesson's like, well, I'm going to steal your mana now and uses the mana burn. So, mostly passive uh, mid game as well. Not too many kills happening. Both sides are a bit scared of the burst damage that can come out of these these heroes. So Bounty out there actually just pulling some weird shenanigans, stealing runes, um, or attempting to check things out. We were doing the same thing. And actually, they might make a go. Bounty Hunter, they do see a nice sleep, uh, but they're able to get the slow. They throw down another Sentry Ward. Weaver still might make a go. They're not going to be able to get the kill on the backside. Uh, they nearly call, call down actually whiffs and misses everything. Wow, bad miss. Black Henning is going out, and here's going to be a homing mess. It's going to hit the Bane, um, but he won't take too much damage. Homing mean, so I think, is just level 1. Yes, just level 1. Bounty Hunter. Salving up, he's, ha he's had that self from the very beginning, and is looking to go back in. Weaver, meanwhile, uh, what you're working on? Probably working on that Perseverance uh, into a Lincoln Sphere. So if we check the gold and the XP graph, it's uh, slightly in favor of the Dire. Uh, gold is basically even. And a kill score is in favor of Need for Feed. Uh, so that would be very nice for them. Oh, Gyro, what you doing? He's going to get slept, I think. Okay, no sleep. They're not going to make a go on this. I think they could have killed him. I think they should have gone on it. I think they were just... I, I guess they were just scared of the potential backup that on Need for Feed. Oh, Miranda, they... Do get the kill on the backside on the bounty hunter. Was it an arrow shot that actually picked them off? It's possible. Could have been the starfall. Could have been the arrow. Um, not too sure how that happened. And sorry, I'm missing all these kills. I'm I'm kind of sick. <laughs> and like my head's all stuffy and everything. So they're going to push this bot tier 2. Um, this tier 2 actually going down quite fast. Bounty Hunter is back up. He's looking to go and try to defend. He's got a Sage's Mask. Um, I guess he's trying to go for Vlad's. Vlad's won't be a bad idea, especially with the Naex. Oh, wow. Wow, look at it melt. All that right-click damage, and it's enough. I'm going to get away with that. I don't, I don't see how they're going to stop it. Both, these two, uh, both heroes are, are quite mobile. It's hard to kill them. So finally the rotations leave the lane, they force the Naix to stop his farm, and and wow, this is, this really goes in favor of them. Uh, the Radiant, meanwhile, oh, they do get the Fiend's Grip, and they get, he even use an RP for the Gyro. Uh, I don't think the RP was needed, because it was at the tail end of the Fiend's Grip. And the Fiend's Grip was just enough to get the kill, and they even have a Brain Zap available. RP was kind of over, over, it was an overkill. Regardless, uh, they do get the kill, now they're trying to get that trade for the Tier 1. Though the Dire will get the rotation, they're going to... Think about throwing the track. He, he wants to go. Maybe he's just going to go for the deny. Will they get it? Let's see. Oh, they're just backing up. They're scared. They will. Oh, they don't get the deny. It was a mistake. Not from the bounty hunter. But it, it's hard to. I, I realize that it's like four heroes banging on a tower. You're the one hero trying to go for the deny. So Mariah back in lane trying to farm will look like. Could be a casual Yasha. And, or, or she can just turn it into a Mantha style. Uh, both, I I think Math Style would be nice. Uh, the thing is, like I said earlier, she's really squishy. Uh, I think for her, she would she would love to have a BKB as well. I mean, look look at this. They they basically don't have anything to go through BKB. I guess call call down to a certain extent track, but what's that? <laughs> what's that to damage wise? So I'm surprised Marana hasn't really set any. any uh, and he ganks up with the Moonlight Shadow. Uh, normally, um, with that, you can you can force team fights and get a lot of kills. I mean, I would love to see her uh, rotate top. This could be three easy kills if they wanted to go for it. So Bane has his ulti up once again. They're probably looking to get a kill. 18 minutes in, scores four to three. A uh, couple towers down for the dire side. Oh, well, and the Radiant have all their towers, so this would be nice for them. Oh, what was I talking about in mid? It was basically two sides pushing the same tower. Oh, I gotta apologize. <laughs>
I might just cast one game. I'm quite out of it for today. Whew. So looking at the last hits, actually, the, the Life Slayer has caught up for the Gyro. But the most important thing is net worth, and Marana is leading all. And that's probably because she's 1-0-1. Oh, Although Gyro did get first blood. So I'm quite surprised he's not leading in net worth. He's almost got his BKB. He's about 100 away. My sir, so far is like he's he might be going. No, he's not going to go for the race car build. He he has treads. Uh, still, the drums are a nice pickup. This adds for that mid game team fight. Um, but I mean, yeah, you have the mid game build. What are you going to do with it? Fight or just? Oh, they're going to steal this stack. This will be good for the radiant. RP is up. Madness has his uh. Region, so he should be fun. Oh, did they find him? I think they found him. They're gonna make a go on this. Oh, life zero. Oh, <laughs> stun for the leader completely misses. They're gonna. Oh, the at least he uses the gonna play. Still, that's a RP for the uh, life star. And once again, the gyro misses the call down. Bang goes down. Uh, both ultimates are used. I think this is the time for NFF uh, need for feed to, to go in. Still. Weaver on the backside gets a kill on the Nyx. I'm not sure what he was doing there. He used everything, it seems like. Try to get out. So I was about to say a worthy trade. I think it's still a worthy trade. Uh, the fact that there was two BK, uh, two ultis that go through BKB, and they didn't get a kill, uh, that's quite big. That is quite big. <laughs> and Alina even like missed, uh, missed everything. Still, she just kind of like, oh, screw it. Who needs a sun if you can burst them down and kill them? And I guess that's the power lane. There's a uh, TP Vendetta and uh, Visage, I think, well aware of this. Choosing the backup, he really wants to get that Mac up. He doesn't want to die. He's got five. He's got four and a gold away from from getting it. Uh, Nick Assassin, if he just committed just a little bit, he probably would have found uh, this Visage. Visage, though, is quite hard to kill. I mean, he's already got one level grave. Oh, excuse me. Grave Creeper's cock. <sighs> So both sides not taking advantage of the fact that they can roam extremely well. I think they're just afraid. So the radiant, uh, yeah, it's like they're listening to me. Still, I think uh, the dire, yeah, they're aware of, aware of this. They're gonna try to back it up. Up to backing up. They don't see any heroes on the map. So said they're gonna transition to a push. They just didn't find anybody in a jungle. <laughs> We've here TPing in. Oh, uh, actually, well on his way to his uh, Lincoln Sphere. And will the Dire defend this? Uh, it, I mean, they do have about four heroes here. So it looks like they want to. Uh, there's no sentries out. I think they're going to make a go. They're going to try to kill the Weaver. Weaver will time lapse. Yes, time lapse is away. Oh, nice arrow to actually go down. The Wither Blade goes out. Trying to kill the Bane before he gets all. Oh, there's the BK, BRP. But they're just going to back off. They, they can't follow up anymore. Uh, Marana actually dies in the background as well. A life sailor doing a lot of damage. He infests a, a neutral card, pops out, and gets a kill. <clears throat> so, a three for one trade so far. Uh, they, uh, of course, uh, at least two of them were track kills. He's trying to get the track out as well. A homing missile flying out, trying to hit the Magnus. Oh, they do get the track on a Weaver. Weaver doesn't have time last, remember. <laughs> Uh, but they, they just can't get any kills though. Scoot, uh, sure can going out. And the Dire, I mean, they get they get a favorable trade and they get the tier one. So well done on their part. So if we look at the items, uh, the BKB on the Gyro was very good. Um, of course, the Bane overextended. I have to say, uh, trying to get that Fiend's grip out. Uh, on the life stealer, uh, he's got 2100 gold. Uh, he could go for, I don't know, like minus armor if he wants, like that's later. Can mow down towers. I uh, could go for more like DPS. Uh, he's, he's got, I mean, the items to, to carry him for another 10 minutes. He doesn't even need to make that big a progression. He'll still do a lot. Alina, uh, you know, she's doing fairly well for herself considering she, um, how many times. Well, considering that she's the support. She's 2-1-2, two two, actually. The Laguna Blade really paying off when it comes to chaosing a bit. Uh, Marana is, yes, she's working on that Manta style. She will have it very soon. Um, yes, she's basically got it right now. Yep, she's got it. And, and it's flying out to her. So in a mid lane, uh, you know, 
Uh, Magnus and Bane, they're looking to go get that rotation out again. Magnus, is he actually going to go for drums? Uh, that won't be too bad. Yes, he is dying a bit fast. Bane, on the other hand, wow, this is a pretty rich Bane. Uh, I thought he'd, he'd be doing pretty bad. Remember, these supports I had their jungles blocked. Oh, Visage actually went back to get the belt of strength. I don't know if I agree. I mean, yeah, you're squishy, but that mech is more important. I, I'm not sure why he did that. I guess he he just felt afraid. Oh, they found... Oh, nice fiends, but they will get the kill here. But there's Infested Nyx Assassin. They couldn't Vendetta end because his Vendetta wore off. So nice, nice pick up for the for them. Uh, regardless, it's still just a bounty hunter. It's an offline hero that's just there for basically tracking people. <laughs> a bounty hunter actually is really stacking up on the HP. He's even got like an over tub. Probably looking to get a drums as well, and they will get this tower. Weaver, meanwhile, find the pick off on the lineup on the backside. But they will find this success, and uh, an eggs pops out. They, it's a bit of. Was that RP used? Yes, it was used. It wasn't even blank. It's just a. Oh, here's the call. It does hit just one hero, though. Uh, will they rest back off? I mean, BKB is already almost down. They don't have Fiend's Grip either because they used it. Oh, Visage, I think, is going to die. Nice stun. Oh, gets that slow once that. Uh, it's a 3 for 1 trade. 3 for 0 trade right now. Oh, this gear completely misses. Uh, they will try to burst them down. It will be enough. They get the gyro. It's a 4 for. No, it's a team wipe actually, because the Lina died in the backside and Bounty Hunter got Fiend's Grip. Oh, Arrow nearly hits. Oh, but Marana overextending just a little bit. Oh, regardless, she gets out. Nicely. Lina scaring them all off. Oh, Laguna Blade comes out. They do get to kill. Actually, they're turning things around. It's going to be a, a reverse. Oh, there's a sleep. Trying to save him. Go oh, they he gets a deny. He gets a deny. Oh, that was beautiful. Uh, they do track up the Bane. Regar I, I think Bane's going to die. It's going to be a trackable for at least three heroes. It's a buyback from the Weaver. Weaver wants to fight, uh, wants to go back in. Uh, was it worth a buyback? We'll see. Will he be able to get the kills? Here's the Swarm. He needs to get at least a couple. Uh, they're trying to go on the next session. He's trying to turn things around on the Lina. He will at least get the Lina. Uh, now he'll get one hero. One hero. Uh, I think it's worth a buyback now. That's two. Two kills. Lena and Bane survived. The brains have actually kept him alive. Oh, that was a huge chase all the way. Remember, guys, the chase like started through here, and, and it came all the way down to here. Uh, the buyback from Weaver worth it. Uh, it kept three heroes from getting a crack kill, and uh, he gets two return kills. He's very close to his perseverance. I mean, uh, Lincoln Sphere. So Gyrocopter. I mean, yeah. Once he got his BKP, looks like he's gonna go for a Helmet Dominator. Uh, this he, he wants survivability. He doesn't want to go straight for damage quite yet. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my! Oh, nice arrow, and they're gonna find this that that ward paying off. Quite a bit. I think he couldn't fast. No, he's deciding not to. He's gonna try to run all oh, surrounded. There's there was no way he was gonna get out. That was a very dead life stealer. Um, when you're farming in a jungle uh, as a dire, it's very scary when it comes to. Uh, jungling over here. I, I think mostly you want to kind of stick here and here and uh, over here I know he wants to take advantage of the jungle um, but considering the amount of roaming power uh, Blink and Slam and Crystal Maiden have it is quite an undertaking. So after a lot of exchange and, and team fights uh, looking at the graph it's, it's still pretty even but it is going in favor of Blink and Slam and Crystal Maiden. Of course you know 5 4Ks is really not that much about 28 minutes and 30 minutes in. But, you know, an advantage is an advantage, and Dota is a, a game where you take control uh, slowly. Well, I say slowly, but uh, Dota is a game where taking advantage of increments will, will win you the game eventually. Because these small uh, things will add up. So Nick Sasson is there, he's looking for a Vendetta gank. Uh, maybe he's waiting for the Life Center to infest them again before they want to go in. And this is what I was saying, I mean, yes, it's nice you have the Nexus and Vendetta. Oh, the arrow somehow hits. I wasn't expecting that. It's like, it's like weaving. Uh, and, and, you know, just kind of found its way and hit the life sealer. Rana is quite farmed. Still, though, I mean, she lacks a bit of survivability. <laughs> 1,350 HP, that's nothing. Uh, Lena Laguna played at level 2. Can almost kill her. Okay, not almost kill her, but, you know, just put her down to half health, and I, I just don't know what uh, Marana could do. I think BKB for her would be amazing. Uh, she actually has a robe of magi. 
Is it going to be a defusal blade? Uh, that won't be too bad. Adds a lot of chasing power. Uh, still, I would like to see a BKB on her. So, the Radiant looking like they want to back off either that or they want to gank. They could use the Shadow, uh, Moonlight Shadow, to try to initiate. Actually, top lane Bounty Hunter scouting out just a little bit. He's probably uh, trying to YOLO his way in. Uh, Visage finally finishes up the Mac. This is a big item for them. I'm going to make it go. Fiend's Grip actually is there, but it got cancelled somehow? I'm not sure. Oh, was it I don't think it was a care press, but call down goes. It's going to hit four people. There's a moonlight shadow going out. Where's the sentries? They're not going to be able to find any. Well, they do have a track. That's one track kill for a bunch. Lena actually throws on the ulti. Still, she goes down. Lincoln Slam and Christmas Man chasing the Nyx. Nyx's assassin will die on a other side will they find anybody else yes they will find the magnus magnus looks like he blew to rp at the moment but there was no follow-up no damage uh, still it's a two for three trade so far life started taking a lot of damage from this morana they're trying to right click him down morana leaps yes they she will get the all oh, infest they they get to the invest and they do find the right guy he's trying to armlet toggle armlet toggle there's an arrow's gonna fly oh it hits him i think this no go in go in no uh too scared of the gyrocopter and, and rightfully so Somehow, Life Stealer lives. He's, he's, he's really happy he lived. Uh, they do get the track kills. They do get the trades. So, in this case, I think it does favor Need for Feed. I, I can't remember what the kill score was before. Um, I think the graph, yeah, it is dipping away from Blink and Simon Crystal Man. At least gold-wise. XP-wise. Uh, you know, it just kind of slowed down. Just a little bit. So, is this the time to go for Rush? I mean, Weaver is dead. Oh, excuse me. Let me drink a little bit of water. Mm. There's a vendetta up. Mm. When you're sick, stay hydrated. <laughs> so, Bounty Hunter and Vendetta um, both gonna go double invis. They could just, I think, they could almost kill one of these supports. Oh, they could kill Marana if she gets caught up. But she backs up. Uh, that gaming sense of hers uh, tells her that she was in trouble. Weaver, meanwhile, is like, meh, I got Lincoln's fear. I ain't gonna die. Well, she did die earlier. <laughs> the Laguna Blade from, uh, you know, it was quite scary, I'm sure. It was probably part of the reason why she got the kill. Well, she did, did she get the kill? I'm not sure. So, uh, both sides, oh, the Dire are, are, are particularly scared they will, they will take out this Ancient Cap. I'm a Dominator is up. I would like to see him dominate a creep. Let's start stacking. Uh, Century Wards is thrown down. Uh, will they try to D Ward? I'm pretty sure they, they knew. So now they're trying to track, check Roche, but they, but they can't quite yet. Only the familiars can safely do it. Now the track is up. So both sides uh, choosing to go kind of... Oh, there's actually a line going on. They want to go kill. They want to go kill things. They smoke up. Uh, I don't know if this is a good thing to do. I mean, they don't have their other two heroes. They're going to walk right into them. I, this is going to be really bad. Where's the RP? They need an RP. They do hit the RP, but the call down is there to try to counter them. Uh, still, they do kill the Magnus. They at least got the Lena. Here's the arrow, but uh, it was a rage life, so, so yeah, nothing for it. Oh, this is just going to die. No, Moonlight Shadow keeps them alive. Just run. Just run. What you doing, bro? You couldn't survive. He's going to go down. Uh, anyways, Nick Sesson does die. Oh, that, that's track kills. Track kills everywhere. Uh, but they do get the life stealer at least. A uh, weaver is there. Nice sleep. Is there Sakuchi? Sakuchi, no, he wants to concentrate on a missile. He, he found somebody else. They're gonna get that kill. Oh, there's ice jukes for a bit. Uh, I think it's gonna be a teammate. They're gonna chase him down. Oh, be careful. There's a rocket barrage. There's a rocket barrage. Uh, they're gonna try to make a go. There's a rocket. Oh, fiends grip, and that's a great kill. That's a team wipe, guys. Team wipe for Blink and Slam and Crystal Maiden. Uh, it looked absolutely terrible for them. They they were three people, three heroes. Why Walking up on five, and they let the Magnus just RP them into the f in the face, and so they're signaling just push, push, push. Uh, but I mean, I, I, Nick Sass and, and Lena are, are up. Life Stealer and uh, Bounty Hunter are soon to follow. Uh, Gyrocopter uh, is dead for a good while. He does have a damage item. Um, it looks like he's going to go for the MKB unless he feels like, oh, I'm going to go ballsy and go divine rape here. So, need to be careful, need to be careful, he gets slept, I think he's a bit in trouble, skewer backwards, no, Vendetta is there to keep him alive, and he, he's going to think, 
himself that he has bent that out. Bounty Hunter does get the track off. There's no skewer. Remember that. No, he's not going to go in. Oh, he finds the Weaver. Uh, the Bane is there. I think Bane is dead. He's probably going to Laguna Blade just to get the damage out. Yes, they do get the damage. Oh, Weaver doing a lot of damage. The Weaver will get out. He time lessons in. Uh, will he try to follow up? No. Weaver, he's going to get bursted down, I think. There's a gem on him. He doesn't want to die. The track gets called out there. Oh, they do get the kill. They get the gem. There's a gem. There's a gem. Who's gonna get pick? Who's gonna pick it up? Uh, I think it's on the bounty hunter. This will be very nice for them. And I think those were at least two track kills. This will put uh, Need for Feed back into the into the game. It was looking really bad. With the team fights and, and what a back and forth game. I mean, look at that. It's just kind of go, going back towards uh, them as well. And they're gonna get this Roshan. Oh, that was a really big kill. Of course, Magnus does have his RP up again. He has full health. He could decide to go, and he's going to work on his uh, refresh orb. There's an arrow. He actually gets the kill on the Lifester. <laughs> Lifester dies. Oh, nice kill from the Marana. I'm glad I caught that at the very end. And <laughs> she's probably snickering to herself just a little bit. Uh, now, now they have the backup. That was a very big uh, arrow. And uh, the arrow actually misses this time. Uh, regardless, that was well worth it. That's why. That's why I just fire one for fun. And and you know surprises like that could happen. Life so probably raging and hating himself just a little bit. <laughs> so um, yeah. <laughs> Both sides uh, choosing to go back to farm. Uh, the dire being a bit safe there grouped up trying to take out the agent so it's not really a stack again he's not taking advantage of his do helmet dominator he really needs to he really does once he gets that dominator um, he should like steal one of the neutrals so Weaver actually he's not very farmed his damage isn't that much uh, still he, he is a bit of annoyance currently until he gets the desolator I, I, I just don't know how much damage he's going to be able to deal once he gets a Desolator, I think he can just kind of be uh, chip away at this tower, and I think the, the this last outer tower will go down very soon. And the Radiant, they want to smoke up again. Uh, they feel like they have the advantage in team fights. And, you know, with an, uh, with an RP, like three or four RPs like that, they do have the advantage. They want to go for Roche, possibly. There's some pings going around. Um, I think this Roshan could de determine the game. Uh, the gem on the Bounty Hunter is quite big. Uh, Marana, uh, well, she's she's got her defusal blade. Uh, definitely, really help on a on a chasing part. But you know, fifteen hundred HP. That's that's kittens. Um, not that it's better for anybody else. I mean, life of course, is, he's a strength hero. He's gonna have a, a hell of a time surviving things to a certain extent. But as we saw, he's a, he's still a bit squishy. He, he still dies pretty quickly. Does Lena pick really paying off? Um, I mean, though she's like 3, 5, and 3, the Laguna Blade does so much when it comes to taking out one of the core heroes. Oh, the Radiant. Are they going to try to sneak a Roche? Uh, this word here spotted them out. They don't have a gem, remember, because uh, they lost it earlier. Maybe they're just trying to steal this the Ancient stack. Yeah, Weaver's there. <laughs> so Dire Day now, they want uh, Life Solo to rotate in. He doesn't have a... He doesn't have his TP score. That might be a big mistake. He's so far from his team. Um, but, you know, at least on the Radiant don't have the damage. Oh, you need to be careful, Magnus. Magnus is a bit low on HP. He could get bursted down before he throws his RP. Uh, we, will, we will watch that. Lifestealer. Lifestealer finally makes it back to his team. Is there an arrow? The arrow was not used. Uh, there's a Rage thinking that he might be in trouble. Oh, Nyx Assassin is here. Do they have sentries? They don't have any sentries down. Like, he knows that. No, homing missile. Homing missile. You want to make a go? They want to make a go. Nope. And the Radiant doing a good job retreating together. Vendetta is still about halfway used. It is level 2. Uh, so it is a significant boost in damage. He's trying to find someone. Oh, there's an arrow. It will whiff. Um, they're still trying to find someone, but... No, the Vendetta gank actually fails uh, this time. Oh, they do find a sentry! So, Marana now knows that she was flirting with death. So there's a DD room picked up on a Weaver. I think they want to go force it. I think it's just time to force a fight. Um, so 
So stealing the camp while he's at it. They're right, choosing to back off. Uh, the radiant side split up. Gyro, Gyro, careful, careful. Okay, he's fine. He's almost got the MKB. Uh, he basically has it, but he wants to save for buyback. Buyback is more important at this time. There's an infested bounty hunter. If he finds this Weaver, I think Weaver will die. And both sides trying to figure out where they are. The Dyer, of course, have the advantage. It is their jungle. They do have a tower close by. Uh, the Lincoln is popped. The DD will wear off. Yes, there it is. It's gone. Still, I started wasting a lot of time infested inside this bounty hunter. Still, I mean, Lysar is not the number one role. It's this uh, gyrocopter. Vendetta. They might look for a Vendetta gank, but you know, this tier 1 tower is still up uh, for uh, Blinking Slam Crystal Maiden. And it is a crucial tower. Uh, this this uh, tower helps them contest the Roshan easily. They can buy back. Uh, and speaking of buyback, who has buyback? Buyback status. There we go. Uh, only two heroes, and they're both on the dire, have the buyback. So I think in a, in a full on engagement, uh, I think Blinken Slime Crystal Maiden should come out. If they come out on top, uh, at least the Gyrocopter and Life Shiller could buy back. Maybe contest the Roche, because that is their two top heroes. Both sides, they're kind of a, they're kind of scared of, of engaging, and this is very understandable. It's a, it's a slow thing. They, they want the Weaver. They want the Weaver. Will they find him? Oh, the Lincolns get popped. They might be able to burst him down. He's going to backtrack. Oh, he gets the backtrack off. This is really big. The stun wasn't quite enough. They do have the gem at least. Uh, will they be able to get a track? He needs that track. He does get that track out. But they're going to all oh, and Pell comes from out of a thousand range. Oh, RP on three! Where's the follow-up? There's no damage. Skewer him backwards! Skewer him backwards! They did he didn't do it. That was a mistake, I believe. There's a call down. It does hit one guy. Uh, this visage will die. This is a terrible trade for the Radiant. And this is easily a Roshan. If they want to do it. Or they can just go push. Uh, they're hesitating a bit. You don't want to hesitate. Uh, but they have plenty of time. So they do chase the Weaver. Uh, I mean... Was it the spike carapace that stopped Magnus from skewering him backwards? I, d I didn't see. Regardless, it was a beautiful RP, but he didn't skewer him towards his team. As a result, there was no follow-up damage. The RP was basically wasted. So B MKB up on the Styro, and uh, I think now I think it's it's firmly and okay, not firmly, but it's definitely in, in favor of this dire side. I mean, they're down by kills. And I think the graphs will start to lean towards them right now. Yep, there we go. Still, it's not out of the question. I mean, uh, they, the Weaver got picked off. He's not as survivable as you thought. The Bounty Hunter picked doing so much work for, for solving this mystery or this, uh, this pest. The Magnus RP, like I said before, wasn't on point. That's <laughs> freaking toss to get that last hit. It's a lot of mana. For, for like 45 gold. <laughs> so Bounty Hunter looks like he's finished up his BKB. Wow, it's got a BKB full. He really wants his five fights. Throw out as many treks as he can. Uh, of course, his damage is still not too shabby. Look at that, Genotic Crit for 339. Uh, will make these supports really squishy. Bottle up uh, in his room. That's always a bit scary because you don't know if there's a word that, that catches them. Oh. They do see the gyro illusions. Oh, the jig is up. You need to back up now. Life Slayer, is that the way to go? Is that the way to go? Oh, I think he's going to go down now. Uh, there, He does have his rage. He needs the rage. No, there's the Fiend's Grip. He's going to go down. Uh, he, oh, at least the Aegis is popped. They try to engage on this. Otherwise, Life Slayer will just like RP just for the Life Slayer. Was that the right choice to do it? Uh, when the Assassin comes in, doesn't get no, Vendetta and Stun. Uh, Magnus will die. There's a Starfall. They do get to kill on the Life Slayer. Call down actually hits a lot of heroes. They're going to try to burst them down. Oh, the Lincoln Sphere blocking that. Uh, so it's a two for one trade. Uh, the Dyer is still coming out on top. So we're getting another arrow. There's. Oh, yes. And the arrow does hit the Lena. They will kill the Lena. Uh, the Rocket Barrage is there. But we were still alive. Maybe not so long. Nope. No, she's dead. They're going to try to get TP out from the Gyro. Is that. No. Why would you TP out? Um, still. Uh, now this might be a lost fight. Bounty there is trying to finish him off. He does get the kill. He's going to go invis. No. Nice. BKB. He's trying to survive. And he, and he does survive that last hit. I, was that. Kind of the last second, so I can't tell. Was the medallion even used? Uh, I mean, why have the medallion if you're not going to use it, bro? 
With that medallion, that uh, bounce rate was almost certainly dead, just a couple more right clicks. Uh, Gyro, I I mean, I'm not sure why he TP'd out. Um, I think I think he's just kind of scared. Uh, don't forget, I mean, you have the Helm of Dominator. You have life still. I, I think he, he could have survived just fine. Just had to right click, trade right clicks. Feel free to. Um, Rana, meanwhile, doesn't have right clicks. I guess she, he was just scared of the minus armor from the Desolator. Regardless, I mean, uh, Need for Feet came out on top of that. And the graphs reflect that as well. Madness doing his best to finish up this uh, refresher, and he needs it so badly. They did get the kill on the Life Slayer at least, uh, but they. I mean, they blew their two big ultis just for him. I, I guess it's worth it. So Nick Sex is actually working on the dag on. He's almost got it. He needs about 225 more gold. Take a creep. Yeah, eat that creep. There we go. After this creep wave, if Gyro decides to give it to him, but he will have to act on. Of course, uh, life Nix could, uh, or Nix. I mean, Nix could uh, look to just save for buyback. I think buyback will be the key for these fights. So the Radiant, I think they're slight. They know they're on a back foot to a certain extent. But they still want to force it. Uh, they do have Magnus RP. They still do have the main ulti. And I think when when you're fighting on the other side of the map. Uh, just winning that fight, if you win it handedly, that G that GG could come up uh, very soon. <laughs> Saying there was a word there. And already they're playing blind, and I guess that's to be expected because uh, Bouncer there has a gem. And it's just a pain, and there's an AC up on this lifestealer finally. I say finally, but he's actually quite farmed. Uh, if I go to net worth, yes, uh, the top two net worth heroes go well used to go in favor of the Dire. Uh, Marana just surpassed them just a little bit. Still, I mean, a Marana one roll as we saw is... Yeah, she does damage. Definitely a glass cannon, but I don't know. I, don't, I feel like she's not doing enough. So, I mean, Magnus, it seems like he hasn't been able to get that RP skewer back into his team. Once he does that and empowers a Marana, I think that that would be, you know, a, a teammate because you just concentrate fire to Gyrocopter. And actually, the Dire. Are they smoked up or is it not? Yeah, they're smoked up. They want to get that kill. Uh, there's a haste room. Will they go for it? I think they're going to pick it up. No, they decided to leave it alone. Maybe come back for it later. Uh, they found the Marana. Marana is quite survivable. She could just blink, uh, leap away. I still want to make a go. There's another sleep. Vendetta, go! Oh, nice! Oh, nice! They just completely burst it down. Lena gets the last hit, of course. I mean, with with the damage like uh, 675, how how do you not get that last hit? <laughs> Especially if you're trying to kill still. So that that really puts uh, Marana back because remember that was a track kill. Yeah, it was a track kill uh, for five heroes. That's really big. Uh, the gold will actually should spike downwards. Well, I guess there's maybe maybe not too much uh, because the other heroes were farming. Weaver uh, needs to get a, get some damage. He actually not uh, opted not to go for the Desolator. It's like he heard my opinion and. And decides to go BKB. I guess he's tired of all that burst damage and uh, stuns and right clicks and nukes from uh, Need for Feed. So, I mean, what kind of game should they play right now? Uh, I would really like it if, uh, you know, just stick to that TP scroll. Maybe start split pushing. Oh, he's going to try to get the solo kill. I think he's going to have it. Uh, Lena is so dead, I don't. Yeah, I think she does. Oh, Vendetta is here! They're going to turn things around! Is they going to... No, no time unless he gets completely blown up! Wow, the rotation from the Dire. Oh, that was a bait. I got baited in, too. I would have been like, free kill, Lena, free gold. Uh, but the uh, Nyx Assassin and all in the entire Dire side is like, no! And they will get a tapper. Uh, the Weaver dead. There's not much you can do about that. And yet another track kill goes out to NFF, uh, and and I think now it's firmly in their favor. Yes, they got they got the tower as well. Don't forget, 
I mean, all the outer towers were down. Oh, nice RP! They're gonna screw around backwards. What was that? I, I'm not sure what happened. That was a really bad RP. There's a call down as well. It's gonna, I think, oh man, they're trying to do as much damage as Desolator. Doing what it can to take out, but no concentration power three or death for the Radiant. Oh, they might get the Nyx. Uh, the Nyx. He's not armlet toggling, no, he's just gonna jump out into his buddy. And Vizrun is pointed out somewhere. Marana is there trying to get that kill. Blind arrow? Blind arrow. Okay, no blind arrow. Uh, it's on cooldown. Nyx is asset. Nyx. I mean, Nyx is there. He does have his Zendata. He's going to go in. <clears throat> this would be a very easy kill if they find it. Oh, Marana doesn't know she's dead. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. That's a... Oh, nice jump. The jump actually was used to dodge the shuriken. I don't know if it was on purpose or not. Uh, but <laughs> well timed on her part at least and now they're going to push the tier 3 I mean RP is down Fiend's grip is still up at least um, but what to do Weaver is back she she wants to go in don't do it don't do it you'll just die again she actually pops the BKB she doesn't have any damage she's oh she time lapses is it enough she will get away and, and that's front oh <laughs> look going to blade on the creep and there's the Fiend's grip they do find the bounty hunter uh, but I, I don't know if that's, that's the right turn Regardless, they're going to keep going. Buyback is used by the Nex for whatever reason. Um, maybe Roshan's up? I can't remember. They want to go for it? No. I think it was a needless buyback. Still, I, I, they want to continue to pressure. I don't agree. <clears throat> Child Copter. Go pick up the regen. Yeah, regen spotted out. Okay, that's not too well. <clears throat> and he wants to go back in. Let's get another gank off. His damage is not kittens anymore, and he has a desolator. He's a full-on desolator. He can kill Bane very easily. Uh, Visage not so much. He has a vitality booster. He's choosing not to go for the Agams. He wants to tank up. And Butterfly picked up on the gyrocopter. It's a big item. Nick Sesson also has a level 2 Dagon. That's nice for him as well. A tower gold really adding tower and track gold really adding up and yes it should be in, in favor yes there it goes like before it was like you know about eight thousand six thousand gold in favor of uh, blink and simon crystal maiden but with the track kills and the towers going down quickly it is now in favor of need for feed uh, e exp is not that much better either <sighs> So Marana, I mean, she has the Demon Edge. Uh, she's also going for the MKB, and I like this. Oh, they do get the RP. They find the Gyro. This will be a very big kill if they get them. Oh, there's the BKB. It might be a bit too late. There's the Spike Carapace pass as well. Fiend's Grip on the Life Sealer. But there's no follow-up because Weaver died earlier on. Oh, the, the, oh. Oh, so something gets the kill. You do find a gyro at least. That's a, that's worthy. Oh, Impel hits two heroes. It's not enough. The damage from Marana is just not enough. She's going to go down. She doesn't have anything. That's that's a very dead Marana. There's a buyback from the Magnus. But you know, you're an RPless Magnus. You don't have RP anymore. I think Barrel Damit. Or go for Roche, because I think Roshan's up. Yeah, Roshan's up. This will be a free Roche if they decide to go for it. Um, but I think they're just going to push instead. RP down. Your two carries are down. I think I, game just got a lot harder for uh, Blink and Slam and Crystal Maiden. <clears throat> and let's see how fast they take this uh, tier 3. Uh, the AC doing unders for the side. Uh, Gyrocopter. Yeah, he bought back. It will get wow 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 just melted. Uh, they got their first set of racks. Why not go for more? They could call the GG. Will they go for it? Um, they're just gonna back off here. Oh, and and the dire they're choosing to play it safe. I think they're just gonna go straight for Roshan. Uh, there's a drum popped from the bounty hunter. Uh, if people goes out, it's, how much damage does it take off? Minus ninety two. Wow, that's a lot actually. <laughs> So yes, this will be a Roshan. Uh, RP is up. I think. Can they contest it? I, I, maybe. A dire looks like they're going to attempt to, um, but that Roshan will go down really, well, oh, really quickly. Like I said, Gyrocopter picks it up. Yeah, I think that's the right choice. He doesn't have to buy back. 
But he does have 4,000 gold. Buy something big. Go for Satanic. There's the RP. Where's the skewer backwards? Skewer backwards, man. There's the skewer backwards. But the call down is there. It does hit a lot of heroes. They're unable to kill anybody. So far, life is still there. I mean, about to enter. Still alive. Gyrocopter's just standing in the middle of it. Rocket Barrage. Right clicks. None of his damage isn't two kittens. Uh, but it's just not enough. And there's the GG. I mean, Weaver just didn't have any damage items. Uh, that's, I mean, two survivability. You have the Lincolns. BKB and, and that really hurts. There's a GG. Well played for Need for Feed. A Blink and Simon Crystal Maiden could not take the full advantage of their lineup early enough. The RPs just weren't on point. And ultimately, that cost them the game. Uh, so, congratulations to Need for Feed. That's game one, guys. Um, those two, uh, Blink and Simon Crystal Maiden. Let's see if my throat can hold out for game two. We'll see. Hope you guys join me next.